Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part 3 of Season 3 of Non-League to Legend with Gearhead. And today we have a very, very important League 1 match against Fleetwood Town. So, before we get into things, let's have a look at the last few matches since the last episode. Which was the 0-0 draw against Gillingham. And things have improved slightly since then. Only one defeat. Um, but we're still the draw specialists. Uh, we beat Barnsley 3-1, first win of the season in the Czech Trade Trophy. Adam Marriott getting a couple and Mitch Brundle scoring another brilliant free kick. We, then beat Coven uh, we drew 2-2 two two with Coventry City. We were 2-0 down in this match and came back through Adam Marriott and Theo Robinson. We then lost 1-0 to Portsmouth. Unlucky in this match. Defensively we were very good, going forward not so good. We then won 3-1 against Luton Town, first league victory. And Luton Town are actually top of the league, so this was a terrific result. Theo Robinson getting a couple of goals, and Gus Mafuta also on the score sheet. And we drew 1-1 with Wigan Athletic, uh, with Adam Marriott scoring. So, a um, couple of little transfers to tell you about. Free transfers, we've brought in Billy Clark, uh, 30 years old Irishman. Um, he's already pulled his hamstring though, so he's out for a couple of weeks. He's come in and done all right. He's had a couple of seasons in League One. He's got experience. I think that's what we need. Just a little bit of experience to keep us ticket over. We brought in Mark Clock, a uh, 25-year-old Dutchman. Uh, he's had a good season there in League One and played last year in League Two. Just, uh, just a bit of extra backup for us. Um, Dan Hanford's gone, by the way. Uh, he went to Brentford. Don't really know why they signed him, but he's gone. Uh, so let's have a look at squad performances. Top goal scorer is, of course, Adam Marriott with 5 from 9. And Theo Robinson's done well, 4 from 7, but he's out for a couple of months now. Um, or oh, he was with a, a twisted knee. He's out for three weeks. Top assists, uh, two each for Marriott, Lucy, and Theo Robinson. Top average rating, Theo Robinson with a 7.27. And a couple of 7.1s there for Brundle, Lavelle, Lussy and Mufada. So, what does it mean for the League One table? We are currently 19th with 9 points from 9 games. Point a game? Hmm. Will it get you survival in this league? Let's just see what happened last year. No, definitely not. The year before? No. So... You're probably looking at over a goal, a, a, a point a game, if possible. Um, but, I mean, we've only had one win, but we've had six draws. So, we're not doing too badly. Um, Luton Town, as you can see, top of the league. They came up with us. Uh, Carlisle are up there. Hartlepool are, are above us. So, we're the worst promoted side, considering we were league champions last year. That's not great. But, uh, still plenty of time to turn it round. And this is the team for today. We've got Christy Pimingo, we've got Kieran Duffy, Sam Lavelle, Luke Kroll and Angol in defence. We've got Brundle, Clock and Mafuta in the middle with Daesh starting in behind Marriott and Cassidy. So let's get into it. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Fleetwood Town are a tough team. Uh, they are bottom of the league but I think they've just had a bit of a nasty start really. Um, they've been in this league for a couple of years now. If we look at them, um, you know they obviously got promoted in 2014 and have been there ever since. Okay, hovering around the relegation zone, but yeah, they're, they're a good team. So um, they know how to survive this league. And well, Brundle's just hit an absolute whirl of a shot from about 30 yards out. Um, Cassidy still hasn't scored his first goal, which is annoying, but. Uh, you know he had a, a cruciate ligament injury and we all know that that's a career ender um, but we're holding the faith hoping that if he can get a couple of goals grab his confidence back and maybe he can refine the, the form of the early part of last season we all nil at half time and not a lot happening Adam Marriott uh, having a poor game apparently um, we haven't really seen much of him to, to judge that. Um, but yeah, 55 minutes in. I think we're going to make a change. I, I don't 
particularly like Clock yet, so we're going to bring on Vildy because I think he is a natural. No, he's not. Is it it? I don't know who's our natural box to box midfielder. Hmm. Maybe it was Milsom or somebody. I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> Here's Vildig, now I'm a footer. Kroll, Vildig, Pim, Angol, Kroll. Mm, we need to tackle in there and just not, not getting it, but that could have been a lot worse. Lavelle away. Go oh, good tackle now, can Marriott outpace him? He can't. It's the first time I've really seen Adam Marriott be poor in that situation. We're going to give. Uh, Sean Tooten ago, uh, first appearance of the season. We'll see how he does. Um, obviously, he scored a few goals for us last season, but not particularly many. Um, hmm, we haven't really got any inspiring substitutions, but Corey Francis perhaps. See what he can do. Um, here's Francis now, Duffy. Daish, Vildig, and Tooten sticks it in the back of the net. Sean Tooten in his first appearance. You've just earned yourself a start in the next few matches, sir. Daish to Vildig. Mafuta, he's just a brilliant player, Gus Mafuta. I really, really like him. Uh, I know you guys will know that. Here's Cassidy, Tooten, uh, Duffy in the middle. Oh dear, how did Cassidy or Daish not score there? Now, is that going to come back and bite us in the bottom. Here's Tooten. Now Cassidy, Jay Cassidy, yes! Gets his first goal since his return. Jay Cassidy, you are my hero. Well, second hero. Um, behind Gus Mafuda, who's the captain today, and deservedly so. And uh, Tooten's been brilliant since he's come on. And he's earned himself a start in the next few matches. Uh, here's Mafuda now, Tooten. Daish. Oh, that was a bit weighty, but we've won 2 0. End of the live com curse. And yeah, hopefully we can push on from here. That was a, a big victory for us today. Our home form is going to be crucial um, if we are to stay up. Um, I would like to, to remain in this sort of region uh, towards the end of the season um, if we can get promoted that's great but really don't think that that's gonna happen but Cassidy played over 10 hours of football this season and not got a goal but he's finally off the mark and hopefully that'll uh, give him the confidence he needs so when we're gonna come back that is the question well it's gonna be the Bradford game and we've got form beating them we beat them 3-1 the last time we faced them in the FA Cup we've got quite a few home matches in between then so hopefully we'll be able to, to get the points we need and climb up this table just a little bit if we can get into that top 10 i'd be absolutely delighted um but we just need to start turning some of these draws into wins and uh, and we're right there because we've only lost twice so yeah confident again positive joe hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode please leave a like down below if you did you don't have to, of course, but me love for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.